The semester has started. You have your timetable and everything is going according to plan. Then you should definitely remember to register for the modules, hence the exams, during the first weeks of lectures. For this, you use the BTU online portal. This tutorial shows you what that looks like and what you can do with it. You can get to the BTU online portal easily via the BTU homepage. Simply click on the tab Study, For Studies, Studying and Learning, Course Catalog and then click on the blue marked link Entrance to the online portal. Alternatively, you can type b-tu.de slash QIS pass 11 directly into your browser or enter online portal BTU at Google. Another quick way to the BTU online portal are the BTU quick links. Simply click on quick links, course catalog on the BTU homepage and then on the blue link entrance to the online portal. Then you choose the access according to your matriculation number. In most cases and for all new subscribers it will be a seven digit number. So in this case you choose the left access. If this window comes up you have done everything right. Before you can become active, you must log in below. In this section, you will need to log in with your personal BTU login details. That is, your BTU account username and the password. You'll get your username during the registration process. You can think of your own password. It is best to choose something you can remember, as you will need it more often during your studies. Then click on login. If you log in before your enrollment is complete and notice that there are no functions in the online portal yet, don't panic. This is quite normal. Only when your enrollment at BTU has been completed will all the functions of the online portal be available to you. Only when you have received a message from the student services that your student ID card is ready for collection can you use all the functions of the online portal. Under the tab Administration of Study, you have the possibility to print out a certificate of enrollment. There are different variants. If, for example, you would like to apply for BAFOC, you will always need the certificate for BAFOC paragraph 9, as proof for the BAFOC office. If you need a certificate for the foreigner's office or your health insurance company, click on certificate of enrollment for the current semester. In the contact information section, you can change or add personal information. For example, you can change your address or add another email address. At the beginning of your studies, we recommend that you check the data stored here once. Especially if you are moving from a student residence to a shared flat, please remember to leave your new address here, so that important letters from the university can continue to reach you. In the Note to the Re-Registration section, you will be promptly provided with all the important information you need for re-registration. For example, by when you must have paid your semester fee for the next semester and how much this fee is. Please do not forget to register back in the re-registration period, so that you can continue to be a registered student. Under the tab Administration of Exams, it is about registration and deregistration of module exams. You should make sure that different deadlines are observed. Therefore, read the information you receive on the first page carefully. Then you must tick the box I accept at the bottom. So then you can continue with registration and deregistration. Here you can see your overall account, which in principle is nothing more than the module catalog of your degree program. Here is an example for the master's degree program in business administration. Depending on the degree program, the overall account is split into different complexes. For example, mathematical basics, business administration, economics and social sciences. The respective modules are then selected from these. To register for a module, first click on it and then go to registration of exam. Always pay attention to the registration deadlines of the respective modules. If you wish to cancel an already registered exam, click on the registration of exam. However, this is only possible within the cancellation period. Therefore, 
you should also take this into account. Modules that you have already taken and successfully passed are marked with the green symbol BE, in German Bestanden. A module that you have already taken but not passed is marked with the grey symbol NB, nicht bestanden in German. If you have withdrawn from a module, for example, you have withdrawn from a previous year registered model, this is indicated by a blue crossed out AN. If your module registration has been successful, you will also always receive a confirmation email confirming your registration for the module examination. Therefore, you should always check your mailbox after your module registration. If you have not received a confirmation email, check the information in the online portal again. You will also receive an email if you unsubscribe. Now, a short digression into the different deadlines and module types. First of all, you need to know whether the module is an MCA or a MAP module. In addition, a module may or may not be restricted. Both are relevant. How you can find out, I will show you now. Please note in advance, for both module types, the exam registration must take place within the first three weeks of lectures. If, however, the module is restricted to a limited number of participants, registration must be made two weeks before the start of the lecture period. The deadline for registration does primarily determine the criterion as to whether a module is restricted or not. The cancellation deadlines differ according to MAP and MCA, which I will explain in more detail in a moment. If you click on the info button behind the respective module in the overview, the module description opens. This can look like this. Here you can see whether it is an MAP or MCA module. Modules that only require an examination, written or oral, at the end of the semester are called MAP. MAP stands here for Module Final Examination, Modulabschlussprüfung in German. With these modules, you have the possibility to cancel your registration until one week before the beginning of the examination period in which the module examination is offered for the first time. Apart from the module type MAP, there is also the type of module Prerequisite and MAP, which has the same deadlines as MAP. MCA stands for Module Continuous Assessment and means that the final grade is made up of different partial performances. This can be, for example, a presentation during the course and a written exam at the end of the semester, or a seminar paper and an exam. In contrast to the MAP modules, the MCA modules require to register for the exam within the first three weeks of the start of the lecture period and to cancel if you decide not to write them. If you do not cancel your registration for the MCA module, Within the first three weeks, you must complete the module and complete the examination. Otherwise, the module must be assessed with a grade of 5. Failed. We are now still in the Administration of Exams tab. Under the item Registered Module Examinations, you will find a list of all your registered exams, as well as, if already available, the date on which the exam takes place. We recommend that you go to this list once after each registration or deregistration to check that everything is registered as intended. At the top, there's also the option of printing this overview or saving it as a PDF file. We recommend that you take a printout of this overview with you on your exam dates. In the unlikely event that there are any questions regarding your module registration, these can be clarified quickly and easily. Under Administration of Exams, Transcript of Records, you will get an overview of your grades, with all modules you have registered, passed, but also those you have not passed. In the table header, you will find your overall score and the credit points you have earned so far. Here, too, you can print out this overview or have it saved as a PDF file. Under the heading Administration of Exams, Obligation, you will find a list of all modules that you must complete in order to successfully complete your studies. Under the next horizontal tab, Students Corner, you will also find the item Verification of Study Reports. All certificates provided in the online portal 
are valued without a signature as they have a verification code that can be entered here to verify the authenticity of the document. Under Students Corner, you can also, again, apply online for a course of study via the BTU portal. Detailed information can be found in the introductory text. The third horizontal tab, Documentations, contains the handbook. The handbook serves as a further orientation aid. There, the individual functions of the platform are explained step by step. Once you have done everything, you can log out of the online portal using the logout button at the top. <laughs>